These are three research sins that will condemn you to research hell. Number one, salami slicing. This is when researchers use the results of one study to write two or more articles. They break the results up into smaller data sets and each of those sets becomes the main subject of an article. One of the reasons why this is done is because in academia, there's pressure to publish a high number of articles to increase your notoriety and funding. But this practice floods the field with repetitive information and sometimes misses important trends in the data that wouldn't have been missed if it hadn't been split up. Number two, equating correlation with causation. You might have heard this one before, but just because two things are correlated, it doesn't mean that one caused the other. For example, long ago, natives of the island New Hebrides used to believe that having lice was an indicator of good health because they saw that sick people rarely had lice. But the truth was that the fever that came with sickness created an environment that was too hot for lice, so they decided to nest on healthy people instead. Number three, heart gain. Heart good also known as hypothesizing after results are known. This is when researchers change a hypothesis that was proven wrong by the data that they collected, but they present it as a priori. Basically, they changed their hypothesis to make it look like they were right all along. Not only is this kind of pathetic, but it's also bad because falsified hypotheses are valuable in science. They tell us what's already been tested and disproven. It also creates studies that aren't replicable because the results were dishonest. These are but a few of the many research sins. I might make a video covering more, but in the meantime, leave any research sins you can think of in the comments.